You know, as a kid growing up, I played nothing but Nintendo games. Things like, you know, GameCube and N64 games. I'm talking Metroid Prime or Diddy Kong Racing. I spent my entire childhood just playing these games constantly. And it wasn't until I got an Xbox 360 that I was opened up to the second best type of games out there. Shooters. Which has nothing to do with this video, but I became insanely addicted to things like Halo and Call of Duty. But then I found out the best genre of games, which was RPGs. There is four Xbox 360 RPG games that I blame for my addiction towards this genre, and these games would shape to this day, the type of content I would make. Obviously, we have Oblivion, which is a game that just lets you loose in this giant map with tons of cities and tons of people and tons of quests, a ton of storylines. It was really one of the best RPGs you could buy at the time, and still is to this day. Followed by that, there was Fallout 3, which was obviously my first ever introduction to a post-apocalyptic wasteland, but it was actually my first ever game that had a depressing theme to it, which I would find that I would become addicted to and would probably pivot my entire personality and content around. The third RPG on the list would be Two Worlds, which is one of the most underrated RPGs out there. It was originally listed as the Oblivion Killer, which it obviously was not, but it's still one of the most fun games you could ever play. If you're seriously into RPGs and don't mind a little bit of jank, I would honestly strongly recommend picking up Two Worlds. It's really good. But the one RPG that really changed it all, and the first ever RPG that I ever played, was that of Fable 2, the game that we're going to be playing today. I assume that most people have heard of the Fable franchise, and if you've heard of the Fable franchise, you've either got Fable 1 or Fable 2 listed as your favourite Fable game. And let me tell you, anyone that picks Fable 1 is a big loser that is still sour about the fact that Fable 2 was an Xbox exclusive. That's right, Fable 2 released on the Xbox 360 exactly a week before Fallout 3 did, and it is still, to this day, one of my favourite RPGs I've ever played. And today, we'll be exploring the world of Albion and trying to find the best way to make money in the game to reach that exclusive millionaire status. And yes, I know you're gonna say, well, you could just buy property and wait for a week and then rack in that money. Does that sound like a challenge to you, huh? Does that sound interesting? That'll be like a two minute video. That's right, we're gonna be playing the entirety of Fable 2 and get that exclusive millionaire status without buying a single piece of property until the end of the challenge. But before we can start thinking about making millions, we have to start the game off with trying to make five gold. In the introduction to the game, we're playing as a little girl and, well, we're basically homeless. And that is where, oh stop. You know what? I'll let Teresa say it. Let's get this show on the fucking road, boys. And so our story begins. And so our story begins. Alright, let's go. This, this is one of my favorite games. Oh! No, don't shit on me! Literally, please! I, I swear! I beg if Do not poop on my head! The bird poopeth, and I receiveth. There must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to do something. Alright, well, um, I don't feel like doing that. In fact, I'm gonna go back to bed, so good luck with all that. I'm gonna go chick kick some chickens again, because I really want this achievement, so... <laughs> There we go. All right, you know what? Actually, I've changed my mind. You know what? I think it's about time we go make some money, boys. James Corden. It looks like James Corden. That's mean. Your mother is an accursed cow. Okay, well, he's a prick. <laughs> Help out Barnum by posing for a picture? Sure, I'll do it. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna run through the intro, because the intro is kind of boring. How do you plan to do this about Landlord Cheese? Um, do you guys like the- do you guys like smithing? I think this is yours. Warrant for burglary. Alan Alliteration Altamont. Wanted for breaking and entering, breaking and smashing, breaking and repeatedly stomping upon, breaking, gluing back together, and trying to pass off as not ever having been broken in in the first place. That's actually pretty good. Alright. <laughs> Yippee! We might do a bit of gambling. Stuff. Gambling is a good way to make money, but you have to get lucky. I killed 100% of the Beatles because I'm a good little girl. Uh oh, it's this guy. Stop right there, you little brats. Yeah, we're not giving it to you. We're gonna give it to the guard. The, the guard. I mean, okay. So this actually has like an actual effect on the game chat. If you give it to this guy, when you come to Barris Old Town Barrowstone later on, it's a mess. It's like like filled with crack, cocaine, all that type of stuff, right? It's like. Not a nice place. If you give it to the- if you give it to this guy, 
It's like nice. It sounds it's proper. Okay, you guys need to pay attention. If we give it to this guy, we ha he has proper stars. We have to give it to him. All right, James Corden. My situation is unbearable. I'm sure she'll pay you when ruin she ruin his life. My yeah, of letter. course I'm gonna ruin his life. What do you mean? All right, I'll I'll accept it, bro. All right, here you go. Take the letter, dude. Thank you, post girl. Don't give Belinda's mum the letter. <laughs> <laughs> Too late for that, James. I want to report a pervert. <gasps> I wrote the letter for you. I knew you'd oh, get the heat no. when I called you an animal. No. Now, show me you're an animal. Let's start right now. Vicious. Music box, Hello, please. Tilda. Give me the music box. Give me the music box. Give me the music box. Hello. What a banger. Ah. I was enjoying that. This place sucks, man. When I'm older, I'm going to live in Fairfax Castle. Wish came true. Hong Come on, Shu? Sarah, wake up. No! He's got the blicky! You dare shoot my sister. I I, I, I will kill you. Wait! No, don't do it, please! No, 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 don't shoot! No, 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 don't shoot that! Oh my goodness, my sister! You shot my sister! I can't allow you to live either. I'm sorry. Oof, that's not good. That's quite a fall, huh? Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. This channel is doing pretty good, but only about 50% of the people that watch my content actually subscribe. So make sure to click the sub button. Eesh. So after being literally shot down 20 stories, I then wake up 10 years later inside of a nice little traveler camp. It's quite a sweet little place in Bower Lake, and everybody remembers it fondly, but if we're gonna get anywhere close to making millions, we have to leave and become the king or queen of Bower Lake. Right, this is the one piece of property we're gonna own in this entire game. I don't need to rent it out because it's my house. It's my home. So as long as I can keep this one property, this is my actual home, we're not gonna rent it out. I could rent it out and lower the price, but we're gonna keep it the way it is. Oh my god, we made our first bit of money! Look! 150 gold! Did we already make four, five gold? Yeah, that's from the intro. It doesn't really count. But yeah, this game gets ridiculous once we get the Crucible. Because we get a gun that has like the fastest fire rate in the game. I can't stand meta gun abusers. I'm out of here, guys. Let's go. <laughs> no, Chad, I promise I'll use melee weapons. I'm sorry. If this tells me to go to Fable2.com, I'm going to cringe. Fuck! God damn it. Improves <laughs> combat. How much money do I have right now? 651. What's what's that percentage-wise? 0.0651%? We're oh, popping off, boys. All right, so we have one job available, and that's Bowerstone Blacksmith. This is probably the one we're going to be doing the most, by the way, Chad. God, this game just... This game still looks pretty good. So by this point, the introduction to the game is pretty much over with, and we've been let loose inside of Bowerstone Market, which is probably the place you're going to see me at the most in this entire playthrough. Here we can start making money by doing any of the various jobs around, which includes being a blacksmith, which is probably one of the most core memories that people have when they play this game. This little, little mini game right here. Man, nostalgia. Yeah, we're just gonna be doing this for ages. I think doing it naked ranks you more money. I don't think that's true, but I'll, I'll test your theory out, Kel. Is it because I'm more attractive naked? I guess I am, right? But does anything affect the amount of money you make in this game? Oh, you literally just said that so I was naked. Are you kidding me? Dude, get a life. <laughs> God damn it. I f <laughs> can't believe I fell for that. That's so dumb. Can't you make piss poor money with the loot in this? Uh, you can make a lot of- There's a lot of ways to make money in this game. Trust me. We'll be exploring, you know, getting married and killing off a widow. Doing storylines. We'll be doing all of the mini games. We'll even try, like, r like flipping- Products. You buy something on sale and then you sell it somewhere else. I think you can make money doing that. Realistically, the mini games is gonna be where we stand at. The mini games seem like the best way to make money. Can't you just do this until you have a million? Yeah, but this will take incredibly long. Also, it's incredibly boring. I'm naked. I've lost all my clothes. All the places you've been, the people you've known. I'm, I've lost my Everything clothes. You've done. They have none. Because I can't. Me. I can't hear him calling me knobhead. We need to go buy some clothes. But first, Nobody. actually, you know what? I'm gonna make everyone like me. I Yippee! All right, everyone gather around, come here. This is how you befriend people in Britain. I think this is how you make friends in real life regardless. 
Champions. Why are people so easy to impress? <laughs> They're so easy to impress. No, we're not going to take the money wish either. No, I need to hit them. Okay, so I need to hit the million gold before the money wish. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Oh, a new way of making money. Let's go. I wonder if woodcutter is a better way of making money. So you get three gold for hitting it first try and then one gold for hitting it on the rebound. Yeah, why is my character looking in two directions? True, what the fuck is up with my character's eyes? She, is she okay? She's a lumberjack and she's okay. All right, no think, only chop. She's watching the wood split. <laughs> She's like following half the half the wood with one eye. I, I guess we would cut till the morning because like I kind of want it to be morning time. She's keeping her eye on the target. Nice. Yeah, I'm making money, Chet. Moolah, the big currency. No, I'm not chopping wood till I get a million gold. I'm just chopping wood until I stop now because I'm already in it. I'm like sunk cost fallacy. I'm on like eight times gold multiplier, dude. I want to just level up now at this point. My character's eyes are literally drifting apart. Well, shit. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was too busy looking at my character's eyes. <laughs> now we've made it to Oakfield, it's worth mentioning that we might form a little bit of a gambling addiction in the next couple of hours. Although I am here to obviously do the challenge run and become a millionaire, that won't stop me from playing a few games. Also, while we're doing the main story, it's worth mentioning that I might get locked out of a main story here and there because I'm not famous enough. You can do a lot of things to become famous in this game, like run quests or run quests, but if you're a true gamer, you'll know that all you have to do is stand in front of a crowd and show them the same thing over and over again. So yeah, it's time to get people to like us, it's time to become famous, and it's time to start doing some of the main storyline quests. Dude, I just want to win once, man. We won big boys. What do the symbols mean? It's like, when, what do the symbols mean in any, like, slot machine? Oh, I'm playing a slot machine, and this one's, like, Simpsons related. Oh, look, I got free bots. I don't know what that means. Oh, give me the big one. Give me the big one, please. Yes! We got the sexy lady. I mean, yeah, I'm like a platinum member on stake.com. My gambling ra rating has increased. Thank you for learning. Teach, teach me how to gamble. All right, let's go meet Hammer. Oh yeah, don't we have to build up reputation before yes. we continue the main story? Will you fight the bandits in Rookridge? Now. Yeah, is this one we, we should be doing? Let's go. Let's go do sculptor first, because sculptor is very easy. We just basically have to get sculpted. Hello, it is I. I will model for you. Yippee! All right, what's gonna be my what's gonna be my modeling, Chad? What am oh, I gonna do? We, whatever we do gets a animal. statue. To so. I have never seen such modeling. Just a bit longer. Oh, we are aiming for the extraordinary here. And you are giving me mundane. Sorry. Did they finish the statue? Is that me shitting my pants? Oh my god. You know what, chat? You're gonna you're gonna sit there and watch me blacksmith for a bit. There's a job opening nearby. Yeah, I'm right here. Dude. This nice hat. Just call me disgusting. I'm gonna go to Bowstone Market. Number. I'm gonna take my horse to Old Town Road. I'm gonna go see if I can buy some better clothes because we currently have aggressive and unattractive clothes on. Attractiveness 2.5%. 1%. Oh, 5%. I'll buy that, please. I'm gonna look a bit stupid with this shit on, aren't I? Oh my god. I totally forgot what I was buying. <laughs> Alright, let's go continue the main story, boys. I wonder if I can actually complete this entire game without dying once. I got the machine gun! You don't load that many bullets? Yeah, that's why this pistol's goaded. You load one bullet and you shoot like four. <laughs> Sister Hannah. Uh oh. What is it? It's your father. Uh oh. He's got a gun. Uh oh. I have to save my father. Oh she's popping off. <laughs> oh shit! She popped off! Damn! Not that I broke my vow. <laughs> we both knew that. And now I'm making a new vow. The guy just you left. I'm dancing on your dad's grave. <laughs> Is that it then? Yeah, we're going bite. My father's gone. We're going. Oh, uh, the game won't let me leave. Uh, what do we do now? Not whole island, big freeze. Okay, not whole island is the DLC. I told you guys I installed it, right? We haven't we haven't found all of the areas yet, so we haven't got all of the jobs. You know, now is a good time to mention that I have the not whole DLC installed. This DLC is quite great in a lot of ways. It brings a whole new area and a whole new quest line to the game. But more importantly, they give you a ton of free items. You can get pieces of Master Chief's armor, genuinely. 
and his weapon too, if you know what you're doing. But more importantly, there is this nice little trade shop inside one of the vendors in Knothole. The way this trading works is you just hand them specific items that they need and they'll give you items back. Uh, but what's more important about this is every single weapon that they sell you is worth like 20 grand. So the game basically gives you like 150 to 200 grand for free. It, it's quite cool. Hello, it's me. I was wrong. Ooh, I'm skipping this mm. conversation. Can I open this? Oh! Chat! Oh no, you guys aren't ready for this. <laughs> oh no. Master Chief Cortana. What does it do? It tracked with this 5%. That's it? Is this actually canon? I don't know, but look. Pretty sure you get this, the rifle somehow too. Can you guys look up how do I get the rifle? It is me, Master Chief. God, it kind of looks a bit stupid, doesn't he? Might be not whole. I don't want to have to do not whole though. Cortana, I require to smith inside of Barrowstone. All right, whatever. One more and then we're promoted. Then we're gonna go gamble. No, I'm a fucking f living failure, man. Oh, Keystone! So Keystone is basically like craps. Place at least one arch bet to begin the game. You may place more arch bets or proceed to the inside bets. I like roulette, roll dice. I hate gambling. Oh, I won. Never mind. I love gambling. Uh, what do we go for next? What do you guys think it's going to be? Uh, this gambling sucks. I hate this. There's too much thinking involved with that gambling. We're going to go do the other gambling. This guy's a traveling spinner box player. See a game of spinner box, but... Looks like that boys were hooked back in. This stream is sponsored by Stake.com. It's not, by the way. I just want to make sure you guys know that. I feel like we should probably just get the main story over and done with and get to the crucible, but I'm actually just enjoying not doing anything. I don't think gambling is the best way to make money, though. I feel like this is not the best way to win. He says as he wins like every spin. <laughs> yeah, when your star rating goes up, you can bet more. So it is beneficial to just play spinner box a fuck ton because at the later levels, you can make a lot of money. Like I'm making money. I've made 500 gold this entire time. Yeah, we'll continue, but I, I'm, I'm actually enjoying just mindlessly pressing A. I don't know why I'm enjoying this. I'm literally the easiest person to entertain. Looking for a new addiction? Try my game. Yeah, that's not- that's not how you sell it. I lost 17 gold. That's fine. That one's probably the best for making money, but it's just slow for leveling up. Yeah, it's a Halo suit and sword. We're gonna- we'll go do the knot hole thing so we can get the gun too. Is the gun any good? What? Made from only the very best animal intestines. Well, we can go have, uh, safe sex now. Hello gamers, it's me, Jabbo, and here today I'm going to go on a special to adventure to knot hole island. Oh, hello. Okay, this is like- actually getting harder. I'm scared in case I'm gonna come across some Balverines with like this shitty weapon that I have. I'm severely underleveled. Become the Master Chief, I must. Feel free to enjoy the weather and spend your gold. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that, buddy. I am not spending my gold. <clears throat> this gold is staying right in my pocket. Excuse me, good sir. Where every item is a mystery and every purchase a surprise. Should we just buy a bunch of shit? A oh, loot box! I think this is the, 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 the this is the you quest I have to do. You might find those. All right, so I need a quest. So this is where you get the rifle. To get the ability to unlock the rifle, you have to do two quests for the chieftain. You did the first one, then you have to go get a pure extract potion, which you can trade for this. All right, where's the chieftain gone? He's left his house. He's not there anymore. Chieftain! You have to wait until the next part of the DLC triggers and he complains about the heat. Uh, so I have to go back to the main game. All right. Oh, you sick of watching this dog stupid tricks. <laughs> Excuse me? What did you just say about my dog? <sighs> See this carriage driver that I've just murdered? Yeah, that's the biggest regret in the entire challenge run. Because after this, literally everybody hates me. Unfortunately, for some reason, everybody loved this man. And now people just fear me and they won't talk to me. So this, biggest regret. Also, now is a good time to mention that if you have the Knothole DLC installed, you can get a weapon with four augment slots. Augments are just basically things that have effects on your weapon, and one of the effects is that you can get gold every time you kill something. I had this great idea of buying one of the best weapons in the game and putting four different golden augments on it, hoping that they stack and I could start making 200 gold per kill. So with that being said, we had to make a bit more money so we could buy it and think of it as like an investment. Nobody, nobody talk shit about my dogs. I lost 500 gold, it was worth it. You caught my dog stupid! I was gonna... Oh, 
Yeah, I need to get a better. This sword sucks, dude. I need to change it back. Sorry, boys, but we're saying goodbye to the house sword. It sucks. This does like literally triple damage. Dabble, did you know you can earn money faster with real estate? No, what? No way, dude. What? Dude, what? No way, bro. You're telling me right now. You're telling me right now. You're telling me right. Literally telling me right now that if I go buy property, fast forward my time forward and then sell it, I'll make a ton of money. Oh my God. That is insane. Dude, dude, dude. Just hot. What the fuck? Did you guys hear that? Is this one right? This is the one I want. Clockwork pistol? Or is it, yeah, this one. Dude, are you kidding? 12 grand, man. I'm broke as f Let's go. You know what? what? What should we go do if I make money? You know, what should, what should we Should we go do? Uh, Bounty hunter? Help rid Albion of dangerous creatures and criminals. Oi, oi, oi. Let's go do that. Let's gamble. All right, stop asking me to gamble. You guys think I just, I'm addicted to gambling? It's all just a f joke, right? I just pretend to be because it's funny. I'm not gonna just go gamble. Shit. But like, can I do like a few more spins? No, okay. What is this? Wait, wait. Hey, bartender? Hey, oh, shit! You. Execution warrant. What the fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm a bartender. What do you do? The sealed scroll will reveal the details of the offenders you must exterminate. Okay, I don't, what? Huh? Shit, what type of job does a bartender have? Yeah, I like pouring pints. I'm gonna keep doing this. This is quite fun. Master Chief fell on hard times. Look, dude, the Covenant invaded and he's, he's, uh, he needs to make money somehow, right? I need 12 grand, by the way, chat. That's... No, you stupid Master Chief! Albion needs you to keep the peace. Spire guards are roaming the roads of Bower Lake. You must stop them before they manage to capture any innocents to work on the Spire. Holy shit, these guys hurt. I will end you! Right. A job well done. Right, who am I talking to? You or you're dead. Here's your reward. 1.5 grand? That's easy. Hello, sir. I would like to buy. Your stones are going to be so expensive, Not right? Human. You will earn gold for every kill you make, but you will deal out less damage and receive more as a consequence. We buy the gold there one, right? Go. All right, so we now get gold for killing people. That's great. I wonder if I could have put two extra gold ones on the same weapon. <laughs> I get 50 gold per kill. That is not that good. All right, what up, Hammer? What, did you get a job? Buy a house? No. I've been here for ages. Not allowed to buy a house. Yeah, this this gold augment's actually pretty good. It's passively, like, making me a little bit of cash. A little bit of money on the side, you know? They killed my Frederick. No! Frederick! Aye, Frederick's dead and you're next. Come get your steel. <laughs> That's one of my favorite videos on the internet, dude. I think so. <laughs> My Frederick's dead. I love my Frederick. No, Frederick. I, Frederick's gone and you're next, pal. Come and get my steel. Hello, boys. What's happening? Children. I bring you flesh. <laughs> this is the most common point where you start dying in this game. Because these guys are hard. Look at that ass. <laughs> God damn. God, I wish. I actually wish that was me. Oh shit. Big boss time. Alright, the boss is dead. We did it, boys. It really wasn't that hard. Oh my god, we just got the big lord. We just. W Dude, we just that's the first time I've had that in ages. We just got so much money. Yeah, if you get the if you get the triangle inside of the triangle, it's like all four of them roll again and they're all guaranteed wins. All right, give me the triangle. Oh, here we go, boys! 500, 300, 200, 700. I don't know what I need. I need a hero. It's all coming together, Chet. Hell yeah. Ah, ah. All right, where are we going? I would like to take the storm totem. Houdini! Hello, I bring you news. Oh. You are now famous enough to use the blow kiss expression. You're now famous enough to use the <laughs> expression. And now it's time for an ad. We all know that New York would be decimated in the events of Fallout when it took place, but Philadelphia probably wouldn't be as cremated. Philadelphia is as American as cities come, and it's home to one of the most American sounding teams, being that of the Philadelphia Eagles. But more importantly, it's home to one of my favorite TV shows, being that of It's Always Sunny in Philly. Which is why I was surprised to see that if you live in America, 
You can't watch It's Always Sunny on Netflix. That's right, I can watch It's Always Sunny from my home here in the UK, but if I hopped over the pond to America, I'd have to buy a competitive's live streaming service just to watch one of the most American TV shows out there. But do not fret, because this regionalized locking of entertainment can be no more thanks to today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. With ExpressVPN, I can change my location to nearly 100 different countries to get access to a whole variety of different shows and films. With a lot of TV shows and films being signed to exclusivity contracts within specific regions like the United States, you can use ExpressVPN to skirt around those dubious exclusivity locks and get access to way more entertainment. The app itself is easy to use and doesn't require any technical knowledge on the user's end. You just fire it up like this, change your location with a single click to let's say Turkey, and boom, you can now watch the entire Lord of the Rings franchise. For less than $7 a month, you too can watch It's Always Sunny by switching your location to the UK. ExpressVPN works on all of your devices, whether it's a home computer or a smart TV, allowing you to widen your virtual collection of films and TV from the comfort of your couch. So get the most out of your live streaming services today by heading over to expressvpn.com slash jabbo in the description below, and you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free when you sign up today. And thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the video. A rare ranged weapon, pure experience extract. That's the one I need. Let's go check Barrowstone Market. I really want to see this, dude. I'm like, I just want to get this stupid potion, man. Uh, we've made like no progress today. <laughs> His potions are too strong for you? Really, dude? Really? This is, this, what, really? Really? Why does everyone hate me? <laughs> Why does everyone hate me? Oh my god, it's Gary. Gary, walk into your store right now. No wonder they call you Knobhead. Knobhead. <laughs> oh, everyone's calling me Knobhead. I don't like it, Chad. <laughs> They're being so mean to me. Oh my god, there's a games man in this place? I didn't know that. Fortune's Tower? What the fuck is this? What? I hate this game. Get me out of here. The gambler, the wrangler, the street fighter. I got an achievement. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it, bro. I'm gonna be so bad at this, chat. EUM more like PUM. Shut up, dude. I gotta practice, man. It's a cardboard massacre. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Bro, they move too fast. Oh my god, I can't aim for shit. Might be able to clutch us at the end. I'm gonna please. Please be 175 plus. Easy. Easy, easy. The augments in this weapon allow you to cause more enemies damage to your enemies while taking less damage. This unique and exotic pistol once belonged to Wicker. This weapon is ridiculously strong. Look how fast it fires. How much damage does it do per shot as well? 41, which is 10 more damage than the other one does. Right, let's get the knot hole stuff. I just wish we had the, the Master Chief rifle. It has 24 ammo capacity and just 59 damage. Oh my god, I want that weapon now. That is an incredibly broken weapon. I want it now. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I should. Oh my god, you can get four augment slots. Excuse moi. I didn't know that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really hurt my throat. 90 grand? Oh my god. What the hell? I can't do it. I'm eating beans. <laughs> I'll take the evil weapon. Wretch's blade. Interesting. Uh, now that I think about it, Staff of Wrath. Is this better too? 91 damage. I feel like if I go sell all these weapons, if I get a clockwork pistol with four augment slots and fill it, four of these, I'll get two, I'll get like so much gold. Do we want to use the fire dragon or this? Oh, or do we just keep going for the Master Chief weapon? Man, I want the Master Chief rifle. Fuck the millionaire challenge at this point. Give me the Master Chief rifle. Okay, can you guys go watch Nurbit's video? You know what? Nurbit Fable 2. All right, we're stealing content. So I can't get it until I've done the crucible this entire time. All right, I've had enough. I'm, I'm cracking. Let's go to the Bowstone Market. We're going to get everything from there. We're going to get the pistol. We're going to put four augments on it. And we're just going to go crazy, okay? Why does everyone hate me? I don't... <laughs> I keep saying that, but like genuinely, why the... F why do, do... Do, 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 Why does everyone hate me? Is this good? All right, well, we're getting this. We're getting that. We're getting that. Watch me do all of this, right? And only make like 50 gold per kill still. And I'll just waste all my time. Dude, I wish I could just get this. Why is- Okay, wait, 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 wait! I got an idea. If I make her like me. If I make her like me, she will, um, give me a discount, right? Right. 
She just went full onto the max. 67 funny. Because it was. She gives me a 19% discount. All right, Master Cutlass. Is this what we're getting? The Master Cutlass? 20 grand less. All right, let's put our augments on it. We now have four and we have four money augments. So let's go see how much we make per kill. If this is 50, I'm going to be furious. This better be 200 or at least more. All that money wasted. <sighs> yeah, you know that whole augment thing about making money? It, it didn't stack. I could have just got a basic weapon with one augment slot and saved myself like 100 grand, but... Here we are. I've wasted basically all the money that the DLC gives you trying to get this weapon to work and it didn't work. So that was a waste of time and money. So I guess I have nothing else to do but to just do the main story. All right, we're selling this for 80 grand. Thanks. We're gonna see if we can buy back any of the really good blades that we sold. You want something fast? Yeah, this one. And it's only worth 18 grand. That's not that bad. 71 damage. You do more damage to evil and it's got fast cutting. Like, that's, that's got to be the best weapon in the game, right? So, yeah. We have... And then we have uh, the Red Dragon, which is obviously the best ranged weapon. Should we go do the, the Crucible? Oh, yeah. We need to invest in Barnum's thing. So, for people that don't know, if you invest five grand into this guy, you get 15 grand back later on. So, it's it's basically 10 grand for free. So, that's why you always invest in that guy. You just get 10... Whenever you come out of the out of the Spire, he gives you 15 grand. So, help Ripper's Bandits crew expand its operation in Brightwood. Ripper and his bandits have been terrorizing... Okay. Oh, should we help the farmers or kill the farmers? Kill the farmers. This is making me evil, chat. Oh no, what happened? Someone killed him. Alright, let's go do the crucible. This place is gonna get wrecked because of me. The crucible is my favorite quest in the game. It's basically this giant arena that has tons of enemies in it, and basically you have to kill them as fast as you can, and you'll get rewarded with gold. It's quite useful. With that being said, I really wanted to have that augment slot golden touch weapon by this point, because with 200 gold per kill, I would have been making a ton of money, but instead it didn't work out obviously, so here we are. But either way, the Crucible is a very good way to make money around about the mid-game, but it's the quest after this where I get shipped off to the Spire, which is one of the worst experiences you can have playing Fable 2. We need to make sure the excitement level is high. Mediocre! God, I've got excitement times five. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, boys. You get so much bonus experience by being just a god gamer like I am. 2,000 gold! Yeah, I'm telling you, the Crucible might be the best way to make money. The Crucible is, like, actually ridiculous. Two- we keep getting two grand, like, from these guys. More two grand! Dude, you got like two grand around. It's ridiculous. You know. <laughs> uh, never mind. Anyways, uh, yeah, this weapon's kind of making this a little bit too easy. God, this troll fight is, takes forever. Nom, 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 nom. It's like, how is this supposed to be entertaining? Oh shit, I got perfect ground just in time. Oh my god. Ooh, we got 10 grand for winning. That's pretty sick. All right, let's go do the spire. All right, let's go. On the ship we go, boys. I have no Goodbye, doggy. Hello. Outside it's me, Master Chief. It's Lucian. Also, my controller's nah. vibrating. Sleep. Shh, everyone listen. <laughs> it's going crazy. Mmm, tasty. Dude, he's, a, he's went to yum, sleep. Yum. He's went to sleep. <laughs> Alright, so we have to stand here for three minutes and not feed them, right? Um, so what do I, what do, I do for three minutes? <laughs> we haven't eaten in weeks! How is this making me evil? I can't do it, otherwise they'll kill me! Oh, did I tell you guys I got recognized in a random game of Battlefield? <laughs> I was playing Battlefield 2042 on my PC and someone recognized me. <laughs> I was like, I typed GG in the chat and someone was like, is that the real It's Jabbo? And then I didn't get to respond because the game finished. I was like, no, dude. Yo, Dustbox, if you're watching this on YouTube, yes, it is the real It's Jabbo. Shout out to Dustbox. All right, this is where Garth has been waiting for us and he gives us our powers back. Hey, Garth, what a bitch boy. We meet again. <laughs> 
Yeah, we gotta do a bit of the main story chat before we can uh, go back to making money. God damn! I will eliminate you. Yeah, this guy's so hard to kill as well. It's actually a pretty hard fight. Can't put that on YouTube. I think he's dead. <laughs> oh, doggy. I missed you, doggy. Why does he have red eyes? Oh, God, is he evil? Oh, God, am I evil? Wait, I'm not evil, am I? Dude, how's my dog not dead after 10 years? Yahoo! That dog's a healthy dog. And then what we want to do is we want to go straight towards the machine gun. That's why, chat. And then we're going to stop the grind for some money. Do you sell the five-star potion? Oh! <gasps> It's so beautiful. Oh, oh my god. I, I need you guys to get ready. We're about to get the best weapon in the game. Are you ready for this? I've never had this weapon in the game. This weapon is apparently really OP. It's supposed to be ridiculous, redonkulous. Uh, also, I would like people to not think I'm evil anymore because I think... One second. How evil am I? <laughs> Quite evil. Oh my god. The Hal's rifle. It's apparently worse than my legendary pistol, but it's not. Trust me. So this is where we have 41 damage. This does 59 damage and has 24 ammo capacity, Chet. More ra and I can put an augment on it. Ah, that's not bad. Westcliff, now that we've invested the five grand, has actually became quite a nice place. It is no longer filled with disgusting people, and it's an actual city. Look at this. If you don't give the guy five grand, though, this place ends up being a shithole, so... How much money did I get? I don't care how much money did I get. Fifteen grand! Ooh, mama! Does that count as real estate investment? No, because real estate investment is very specifically the taking part in owning of houses. Anyways, um, I think now the venture of making money. Because uh, at this point, Chet, we, uh, we're ready to go. We're in the late stages of the game. There's only one more city left to get, which we're going to obviously go to first. But uh, after that, there's nothing else left to do. If I didn't know better. I like how we just met Hammer and I'm playing... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is the the five one, isn't it? The six one. This is the big winning one, Chad. I can stop gambling whenever I want. I get home from prison and I start gambling. Ah, yes, I just got back from jail. I spent the. Oh, I'm so, I don't feel well. Ooh, spinner box. Yeah, we're not winning, Chad. This game kind of seems like it's a lie. Oh wait, we did just we just won big. <laughs> Never mind. Is this the best way to make money? I kind of feel like this isn't the best way to make money. I feel like the best way to make money is probably the crucible, but I, I kind of want to do the, the blacksmithing for hours. Buy weapons in Barrowstone Market and sell them at Fairfax Gardens for profit. Okay, let me try this. Let me see if that works there, killer bunny. All right, let me buy all your shit, sir. All right, so we spent all of our money and then we go to Fairfax Gardens. And if I don't make a profit right now, I'm banning you permanently. I don't think I made a profit there, dude. The good thing about this rifle is you can just keep firing it. Oh my god, can you stop doing the same fucking trick over and over again, bro? Dude, this guy's pissing me off. He just does the same thing over and over again. I say as I shoot them over and over again. In the gate, dude. Get in the gate. Jesus Christ, my character's so dumb. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's a scary banshee. Ree! These are really easy to kill. They're not supposed to be. Well done. Sir, we're under attack by a mystical beast. What are we gonna do? This is where the first Fable game took place, by the way, Chet. This is the first Fable game, the intro for the first Fable game. This is it. This is where it is. Can you stop shooting? I'm trying to listen to the story. Once when I was a child, our village was maliciously struck down and burned to its core, and then all you can hear is this. Sorry, I can't hear you. What did you say? Well, I'm just going to speedrun for all of this, because I really do not care. Now, at this point, though, the end of the game is, like, literally around the corner. 
What do you got for me? A discount. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. If we buy things from this guy and just sell it somewhere else, like we can buy a diamond for 3.8 grand from this guy and all this stuff and like just go sell it somewhere else. That's actually really good. Okay, let's test this out. 35 grand right here to buy a master cleaver. Then let's go to Fairfax Gardens and see how much that 35 grand goes for. Oh my God, this makes so much money. Holy shit. We just made 18 grand. That's actually not a bad way to make money. Because, oh, because it's shop wealth, he gets a 37% markup. All right, perfect. That's a, that's how we're going to probably reach a million. But first, let's go do some blacksmithing. Yeah, look, look, that's just such an easy way to make money. What is yours like? Oh my God, he's got a 75% discount on right now. I'm going to buy everything from him. 75% discount? Uh, yeah, thank you. There's only one job. The assassination. All right, let's go do the assassination job. Uh, you must assassinate this target while adhering to the society's precise requirements. Name, Adrian. Occupation, drunk. I have to find Adrian in Westcliff. Oh, yeah. I forgot how fun this, this one is. This type of job. Status, o drunk. Occupation, drunken. There he is. We found Adrian. How much do I get for killing someone? 800 gold? That barely pays the fine. Mm, let's go do the blacksmith. I want to get the blacksmith to level five. This game is literal fundamental proof that the best way to make money is to grift, right? Is to like buy something from one store and sell it to another. I could work on this blacksmithing for hours and make less money than if I just bought a weapon from one vendor and sold it to someone else. Can I get this blacksmithing stuff over and done with? Okay, we we can establish now that blacksmithing is not the best way to make money because I'm making absolute. I've made no money in the time it took to do this. Oh, we hit level five. Okay, I'm I'm sick of I'm sick I'm so sick to death of making money in the blacksmith job. Cortana, I gotta pour this drink. Listen, Cortana, the covenant can wait. This man needs a serving of fresh beer. This man wants a gin and lemon. <laughs> Cortana, I gotta make money in Fable too. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, boys. I'm gonna keep this chain going until I pop it. Master Chief, the flood is under attack. One second, Cortana. I'm gonna flood this entire place with beer. No! No! No, I dropped the chain. God damn it! All right, we got we got level five bartender. That place sucks. I'm we're never working in a in a bar ever again. What quest should we do? I feel like we should do the treasure of doom. It's kind of the best one, the treasure island of doom. Oh, they think old Jack's mad. Right. But he's not. Yeah. Ah, I knew I could count on you. Welcome aboard, Maria. Don't make a point. I like take no damage. Oh yeah, so it's worth mentioning you get 15 grand for doing this quest, which is why we're doing it. He's here. You yeah. found the old dead sea dog. I knew you would. Yeah. All right, there we go. We're ready to do the next you quest. You are now famous enough to use the kiss my ass. All right, thanks. All right, chat. That is us set up and ready to to finally do the the quest here for Reva. We're done. Let's ban him. And start of the game. Sure the little... And Why is he like in the in the ever. Peter Griffin Not death position? <laughs> Alright, we're at the ending sequence now, chat. All we gotta do is run through this underground tunnel, defeat this giant shard, and then end the game, and that's it. Oh what's gonna happen to his ship. Ruh-ro, Raggy? My ship has been demolished. God damn it, orbital strike? Yeah, the guy had like a six kill streak. Floating triangle. Though it's the, the biggest building in the UK. Oh, I forgot I have to do this over and over again. No! Oh, you can you can hit it when it's doing the strike. Oh my god, I got eviscerated. I go on orbital strike me. Go! There we go, boys. I'm absorbing their souls. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Absorbing. I let the bloodline flourish. This is the big bad guy. And you have flourished. He's gonna shoot me. Your destiny to uh, it really hurt my arms. I kind of flung myself too far back. <laughs> Here it is, boys. The end of the game. We gotta go run Lucian down with our little music box. What are you doing? Oh! Did gimme, gimme! Come here, trinket will save you. Yes. Chat, it's been a fun run. 
Now we get to decide how we kill Lucian. And I think it's only fitting that we uh, shoot him the same way he shot us. Right in the mouth. Adios, amigo. One wish. Can I get a McFlurry, please? I don't want anything. She's going to give me, like, free choices. I want a McFlurry. I don't want anything else. Sacrifice, love. Wealth. <gasps> I said we weren't we weren't allowed to pick wealth because uh, it's a cheat ending. It gives you a million, but it's not really. We're not trying to hit million with like some shitty ending. So we're gonna go for uh, love or sacrifice. Chat. Should we bring back the people that died, or should we bring back our pet dog? Fine, I'll bring back the dog. Come on, doggy. Always. By the way, chat. I haven't died once this, this playthrough. North, but the spire is mine. I don't like it, chat. Be gone. I think, I think secretly the spy gives you infinite wishes and she gave me one and then she just took the rest of them. There we go. Fable 2 complete. I don't think it's going to take too long to get the rest of the money. We will, I will show you guys this. The whole premise of this entire playthrough is that we're going to go and buy Fairfax Gardens Castle. Uh, this castle, I believe, is worth a million. Yeah, a million. Oh, well, we can try marrying someone. You gonna? You want to try that? Let's marry some rich person and kill him off. You. She doesn't want to get married. I don't think she wants to get married to us. I mean, she could get married to us. Oh, oh my god, calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I've been playing so much fucking Fallout. I pressed B to pull up my menu. All right, one sec. That was a, such a powerful sneeze. <laughs> Shut up, dude. We'll, we'll wait. We'll buy ourselves a ring. We'll marry some lady. I want to kill her off and see how much we get in, um, was it dow dowry? Dow dowry? I don't think she wants to marry me. How do I get people to marry me? She doesn't want to marry me, Chad. Rich, serious, demanding, straight flirt. Oh, wait, I, I forgot I'm a girl. I need to be going for the guys. <laughs> Yo, Colin, I'll marry anyone that'll take me, Chad. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'll take anyone. Anybody want to get married? This guy's got a love heart above him to the left, but he doesn't look rich. I'm only gonna get married to the rich people. Oh my god, you give him a diamond, he freaks out. I mean, the diamonds are worth a lot of money. This better be good return value, I swear to god, by the way. I'm trying to get this guy to marry me. Can you guys fuck off? Marry the Giga Chad God. Okay, do you guys want to? Do you guys want a POV? Look at all these people just like stood around me. I want Colin. I don't want anyone else, Chad. I could I could easily marry like the five guys to my left right now. I want Colin, the, the aristocrat. I can't even think. There's so much going on right now. There's like so much noise. I can't think. I'm just so happy. Who the fuck did I just marry? Andy the farmer. No, 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 Andy. I did. <laughs> I did. Okay. Sorry, Andy. Oh, such a celebrity here. Oh. This position. <laughs> What what happened? I was like talking to Ian the Colin the aristocrat, and then Ian the farmer got in the way. I was like on one knee proposing to him, and this guy came out. Hey, uh, give me the fucking ring. <laughs> What happened? I was proposing to the other guy. He photobombed my proposal. That is dumb, man. You can't unmarry someone. I mean, he wasn't going to give me my ring back, was he? Imagine that guy, the roller coaster of emotions that guy had. He's like, oh, you love me? Oh my God, I'm so happy. And then like, I just like fucking blast his head off. He sat there like, oh, dude, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to move it. And then like, just... Pfft. <laughs> Have mercy, please. please don't run away. Raymond. Dude, why are all the rich people so scared? I don't know what I've done wrong. Raymond! Get back here! I want to give you some chocolate. And this? Yeah, you like that, Raymond, huh? You like this? Yeah, you like that, don't you, Raymond? What about what about this? No, 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 no. Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> Raymond. Raymond, we're, we're gonna get married. Come back here. Oh, for God's sake, Raymond. Stop being such a baby. Raymond, you took my- Raymond, you took my fucking ring. Give me it back. Just take the forever ring. Just Please. just take the ring. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. Well, you know what? Fine. Yo, Dave. Sorry, Dave. You're the only one for me. For, for some reason, the loot is the best way to make people like you. I have no idea why. All right. Take this ring. All right. He's following me. All right. Now we have to go to the house from the start of the game. Follow me, husband. Chad, he doesn't know, but um, we're going to have unprotected sex with him, and then we're going to kill him. Set his marital home. All right. We got married. Oh, he wants to have sex. What do you say? All right, come on then. All right, well, this is our bed, so I hope you're happy with this. Uh, I don't know if I can show this on Twitch. Oh, shit. This is wonderful. <laughs> no! No! Stop it! No! How am I supposed to kill him? He's a dad! Oh, God, man. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm going to kill him. Following the death of your husband, the Child Protection Agency has taken custody of your son. Do I not get money for the guy dying? 
You got 400 gold. Let's try it one more time. Let's try marrying one of the really rich people and see how much money we get. Walter. He looks like he has money. Do you not think so? He looks like he's got money, right? Yippee! Yippee! No, can you guys move out the way? I'm trying to talk to Walter here. He's the one He's the one that I want. He's the one I want. No, why did I give that to Sally? Can I name the kid Jesse? What, because of Walter and Jesse? I cannot... Marry you using this foul little trinket. So I need to get him a five-star ring? This prick! Yeah. Right, can you take this ring? No. Oh, thank Shall God. All right, chat, let's take him back home. He doesn't know what's about to happen to him. Uh, is he going to accept living here? I don't know if he's going to. He's like an aristocrat. Also, why am I not moving in with him? This guy probably owns like 17 businesses and like 50 houses. Oh, we got, we got married again. How much gold did I get? I that's it! You know what? You're, you're gonna stay as my actual husband. Come here. Alright, whatever. We're over this. This the, the whole marriage thing's not working out, chat. We're not doing it anymore. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go make a fuck ton of money by buying a ton of weapons and reselling them somewhere else. It is, quite honestly, the best way to make money in the game. So we're gonna go do that. We're not gonna chop wood. We're gonna just buy stuff and resell it. Oh, 25% discount? Everything's gonna be so cheap. Oh, it's a shame I've got no money. And now we can sell our weapons for a little bit more. There's Hal's rifle, chat. Remember this? So we have 250 grand just like that. <laughs> a few of those items I did buy earlier in the game, but you can make a lot of money by doing this. We should be able to turn 250 grand into like half million, and then half million to, into a million, and then that's us done. Yeah, you gotta find places that don't have good economies. And the more you buy from them, the better the economy comes, so it's actually harder to turn a profit. What you do though, if a shop, if you, if, a, if a place has a too good of an economy, you go around blasting the windows in. So yeah, if you guys ever wanna make money in real life, just just get marry a shop vendor, buy your stuff and sell it somewhere else. That's literally all I have to do. Like look, this guy has a 10% discount because his shop wealth is so bad. All right, and then what we do, Chet, is we take this, we go back to Fairfax Gardens, and we go and sell it. Yeah, look, 37% markup. We had 250 grand. Now we have 380 grand. Ooh, that's not so bad. That's quite a good way of making money. Hello, lady. Do you still like me? We're gonna reach a million like any second. All right, chat, that should be us. I genuinely think we're about to do it. The moment that I go back to Fairfax Gardens now and sell all this, we should have enough. This is it, the ending. Getting 1 million in this game is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be, but the adventure of playing this game has been a good one. If I sell all this, we have hopefully enough money to make a living and to, to finally get out of here. God damn! I'm 45 grand short! Oh my god. Uh, we're finally making it. This is the end of the run. Fairfax Gardens, the best way to turn a profit. Here we are. It's been a while. We've been here for a while, but we've made our millions and it's time to move on. It looks in good shape. This should just be the end of it all. It looks in good shape. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. You know what? I wanna go back to, to, to basicness. We're gonna go back and just woodcut until we reach a million. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it, dude. Yippee! What the? I'd love to have your autograph. Dude. I'm a big fan. <laughs> this kid distracted me! Get out of the way! This kid literally doesn't want to live! <laughs> Move! Move out the way! Go! We did it! A million! Right there! In bright gold. Now we have the one last thing left to do, Chad. The final nail in the coffin of this entire run. To buy one property worth a million. There it is, Chad. We are now the owner of Castle Fairfax. This is where we, we got, you know, eviscerated. Our sister murdered, and this is where we're going to finish it. Thank you guys so much. We reached a million. 30 hours and 38 minutes is how long it took. So eventually, I would sell my way to a million gold and get the nice little castle at Fairfax Gardens, becoming the mayor of everybody in Albion. Again, if you truly want to make money in Fable 2, everybody knows that the best way to do that is to just buy property and to rent it out. But you know, as disgusting as a human being I am, I'm not a landlord, so I would never stoop that low. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I really like Fable 2, it's one of my favorite games of all time. And if you sat here and watched it, and this video does well, then hopefully I can start making some non-Bethesda content on the channel. He is hoping. But yeah, as always, I will have more content to come real soon, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.